Welcome to Inorganic Chemistry. In this short video I will uh, introduce the course and myself and make sure that this is the course you're looking for. What is inorganic chemistry? Well first uh, let's talk about what it is not. Uh, inorganic chemistry, this particular course, is not the one you've heard of for uh, medical school which is actually general chemistry. Uh, although general chemistry introduces you to some of the same uh, concepts that we'll be covering in this inorganic chemistry course, we'll be doing it at a much more advanced and in-depth level. Uh, inorganic chemistry is, uh, I guess, literally um, in or organic, which means not organic. So organic chemistry that you learned uh, usually in a sophomore year college course um, covers the chemistry of organic compounds or molecules from originally derived from living organisms uh, containing carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, those sorts of things. Uh, what we're going to be studying is the rest of chemistry, basically, that was not covered in your organic chemistry class. <clears throat> and uh, one way to visualize that we're going to be looking at the rest of the chemistry is this uh, image here that some, some people have called inorganic chemists the cowboy or cowgirl of the periodic table because we're going to uh, range across the entire periodic table and learn about all of the elements, not just those few <clears throat> uh, here that, that you learned about uh, in organic chemistry, carbon, hydrogen, um, nitrogen, oxygen, was it Ch chnops, right, uh, phosphorus and sulfur are the main chemical or main elements of interest to organic chemists. Inorganic chemists uh, are interested in all of the elements. And uh, <clears throat> just to show you that I am qualified to teach this course, I first learned about inorganic chemistry during my undergrad research project with Dr. Chad Merkin at Northwestern University. He's currently the director of the International Institute of Nanotechnology. I received my bachelor's in chemistry <clears throat> uh, with uh, Dr. Larry Funk at, from Wheaton College in Illinois. And then I got a PhD in chemistry from Dr. David Curtis from the University of Michigan and uh, also did postdoctoral work uh, for a couple of years with Dr. Laura Wright at Furman University. And in academia, we, we talk about our, our uh, pedigree or our family tree uh, related to our academic heritage. So uh, from this website, I looked up where uh, Dr. David Curtis, my PhD thesis advisor from the University of Michigan, um, where he fit in the chemistry tree. And you see that he got his PhD from uh, Louis Allred, also uh, from Northwestern University. If you go back in time, you see that uh, my chemical lineage goes uh, back to um, Professor Bunsen of Germany, uh, who is, yes, indeed, the origin of the device we call the Bunsen burner. This particular course uh, is based on the inorganic chemistry text by Miesler and Tarr. And so throughout the lectures, I'll have uh, chapter numbers and section headings um, based on that. The general structure of the course is that we're going to start with the properties of atoms, including uh, electron orbitals and uh, periodic properties, things like that. Uh, then we'll review principles of bonding, and uh, I encourage you to... Uh, use the review tools uh, that, that you have for, from general chemistry to kind of uh, sharpen your skills there because we'll dive right in starting with Lewis structures and going all the way to molecular orbital theory. Uh, we'll 
look at different types of reactions, including Lewis acid base uh, chemistry and electron uh, transfer chem all the electron transfer chemistry. Um, and that'll then this will then give us a foundation to proceed to survey the chemistry of the main group elements and then also look at the chemistry of the transition metal elements including uh, coordination complexes and uh, their reactions, uh, their spectroscopy, their reaction mechanisms. And if we have time, hopefully we will also get to the organometallic chemistry. Thank you and I hope you enjoy this course.